Like many, we traveled to view the solar eclipse in its totality. We ordered the smart telescope and planned to head from Fort Knox to Bloomington, Indiana, with a brief stop in Mitchell to view some of astronaut Gus Grissom's history. Our first stop of the day was the Virgil Gus Grissom Memorial located in Indiana's Spring Mill State Park. The Memorial Museum has an array of personal items from throughout Grissom's life from a spacesuit to a collection of his cufflinks and other accessories. Other displays tell of his military career as a fighter pilot to the early days of the Gemini space program. His schooling is told through early report cards and through his diploma from Purdue. His spacesuit sits behind the Gemini 3 capsule Molly Brown. Grissom commanded this mission on his second trip to space on March 23, 1965, after his flight during the Mercury Redstone program. The second site we visit is on the park lawn of his hometown's City Hall. The 44-foot-tall limestone statue consists of four tablets hand-carved with the history of his military and space flights. There's also a replica of the Atlas rocket and his Gemini 3 capsule on top. From there, we took a short walk to his boyhood home, where we would unexpectedly watch the eclipse with some of his family and the shuttle astronaut, Joe Allen. Hi, my name is Steve Grissom. I'm president of Virgil I. Grissom Memorial Incorporated. And behind me here is the home of astronaut Virgil I. Gus Grissom. He was born in a house just about a mile away from here, moved into this house about the age of one and was raised here up until he left right after high school in 1944. His mom and dad stayed here, raised their other brothers and sisters. And Gus came back and visited here uh, often, as often as he could anyway, uh, when he got out of the military. Uh, he got married uh, right over here in this White House that is the Parsonage to the First Baptist Church. Uh, he and Betty Moore were married there. Uh, he got a job at Carpenter Body Works just down the road here in Mitchell, Indiana. He went to Purdue University, got his mechanical engineering degree, went back to the United States Air Force and began flying planes. In 1959, was selected to the, the newly established NASA, where he was selected as one of the Mercury 7 astronauts. He flew in Project Mercury, Gemini, and was slated to the command of first Apollo mission. And tragically in 1967, he was uh, tragically killed in a tragic fire that took his life along with astronauts Ed White and Roger Chaffee. Uh, 
and uh, we have maintained this home since uh, probably 2014. I want to say that's the approximate time period there. Uh, we are totally a non-for-profit organization, and we take donations uh, to maintain his home and his legacy. We have some fundraisers called the Galactic Gathering. We have astronauts come in and do their talking about what they did in outer space and their space flights. It's low key. Uh, they just like to have a good time. Come in and lots of laughing, lots of joy, lots of sharing. Uh, they like to come back. Uh, the Hoosier astronauts have been back twice now. We've had Charlie Duke who's the youngest moonwalker. Uh, we have had Harrison Schmidt, Jack Schmidt's been in here. The last guy to step foot onto the moon. Um, he's been here. So, so just trying to get the legacy alive and keeping his, Gus's legacy out there. That's the main objective of Grissom Incorporated and we do so through the boyhood home. We're trying to figure out what we're going to do with the home. We're trying to get, we were trying to get it on the national registry, but to do that, it's, it's a lot of money because everything's got to be time error and that's taking everything back to the 1930s 40s and that means the siding's got to be done strictly by wood yeah the foundation's got to be completely redone because it wasn't the foundation that's here now the roof is just like it was that cost us about forty thousand dollars so to do everything it's going to be a couple hundred thousand dollars so now we're trying to figure out, do we just downsize this to where it looks time era and make it so that it lasts? Uh, and even to that, you're looking at about fifty to $100,000. So cash is, is, is the big one right now. Um, so donations is the big thing is what we need right now. Okay. And we can take donations, can be mailed to us at P.O. Box, or Virgil Grissom Memorial Incorporated, P.O. Box 431. Mitchell, Indiana, 47446. We also have a PayPal account, which is Gus Grissom Boyhood Home at gmail.com. And then Grissom Boyhood Home is our Venmo account. So we have different variations of payments. It's just a matter of if people want to donate to that. And we do appreciate any donations we can get. So well, my name is Joseph Allen. I grew up in Crawfordsville, Indiana. So I'm a Hoosier, but um, I'm here in Mitchell, Indiana, with the with the, the home of uh, the Grissoms of decades ago, and we just witnessed a total solar eclipse that was absolutely amazing. And just for a few moments, it was complete nighttime here although it's two o'clock in the afternoon and I'm thinking it reminded me of what happens when you don't pay your electric bill you get delighted <laughs> and suddenly we were delighted in that it was nighttime here albeit it's two o'clock in the afternoon and what's your history with space I'm sorry. What's your history with space? Do you have a little well, bit of something to do with space? Similar to the space experience. Mm -hmm. In many in many ways, it was a space experience. And and which shuttles did you fly? The mighty spaceship Discovery and the mighty spaceship Challenger. Right. That's wrong. That's wrong. I flew Columbia. Columbia. And Discovery. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you. Well, thank you for asking. Thank you. Oh my gosh, is that spectacular? Oh my gosh. Joe Allen is Okay. Hold on, I'm gonna show you this. You know, Leave it at the table. table. Want me to check to see if it's on the table? Okay, thank you. Where, where is my I'll see if it's on the table. And we have this couple that has <laughs> set up a smart thing, a smart telescope. Yeah. And this is what it looks like. Oh, thank you for that. You're welcome. Oh, is this wow. yours? Yes. Yeah. Oh, is that not cool? No, you're fine. The way you can do this. I took a picture of it. That is awesome. Hold on. Here, do you want to meet? Do you want to meet? Oh. I do want to meet your friend.